Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 62 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're going to start out by hauling some Christmas gifts to Haver, Montana. Let's get into it. And you're wondering about Christmas gifts. Well, there's this trailer. I will get into it more, but the reason I have this screen up is because there's been another change I want to show you. And I need to be quick because we're wasting time because I just slept. That's a mental note for me, by the way, that we're wasting time. Okay. Nothing's changed there. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is 100% the final paint scheme. that will be on Steam eventually. Currently, again, this is for the, the John Ruta 389 glider, high roof. Chris is now going to start working on the other variants, i.e. the flat top for the Ruta. And then he's gonna move on to the base game, SCS 389, other trucks, that sort of thing. And if you're wondering what we did, we uh, changed that decal, took the necktie gaming off the step, painted the step black, made the lettering gray, just like on the hood, so it all matches. He made the uh, shit show logistics bigger and the Tucson and the DOT smaller. And then he finessed the uh, fire extinguisher inside And again, he, he did that this afternoon in a couple of hours. The guy's phenomenal. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's what it looks like with the sun on it. I'm trying to figure out why in the game, when the sun shines on that side of the truck, the chrome doesn't look chrome. But yet, when you're on the shady side, it looks like chrome. Anyway, that is going to be the truck paint scheme. He's also going to work on different colors. I believe he said he's going to work on one where you can actually select the colors that you want. So, anywho, wrong key. So, the Christmas Reflections event just came out today. And basically, I'm not going to read all this, but basically for me, it's another 15 load C015. But since we as a community knocked the Halloween event out of the water in a quick amount of time, they made this one a little more difficult. So what has to happen is um, 2,000 gifts to as many cities as possible. And you would think, oh, okay, well, that's just 2,000 loads to as many. No. For a city to receive one gift, we have to complete a 1,000 deliveries to or from it. And then every city can receive up to 10 gifts. And if you're like, what the hell? Let me just give you a... Oh, I need to go into here. So see how in external contracts now the cities have these little gift icons. So for example, Mile City has received basically 157 deliveries of a thousand. So that city hasn't even received one gift yet. I don't know. I didn't really look too hard on here to see if there's, well, that's, they've got 210 there, 223 to Galveston. Ooh, 832 to Houston. Yeah, so even that, there's... A ton of people playing this game, huh? So anyway, that is what we're doing. We'll see how long this takes. I gotta go get it. Also, I did some messing with my graphics today. Uh, I finally 
those that play the game probably know about it, but the NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings and all that stuff, I think they look better. I could definitely tell in the menu that it looks better, but... And oddly enough, my FPS didn't take a, as big of a hit as some said it was going to, so that's good. I think we're going over here to Tesla to pick this up. Easy there, ma'am. I think I have a setting wrong because I'm seeing a lot of flashing and I didn't see that before. Which is going to drive me nuts. And honestly, watching every video I've done up until now, I don't think that there's a huge quality issue, so I don't even know why I was messing with it. But that's just how I am. Go straight. I mean, it does, it, it does seem to look clearer and cleaner. I just, I don't know, maybe I'll have to go through the settings again and make sure I have them correct. Why, why are we tapping our brakes, folks? The light just turned green. That may have been Keep partly right. my fault. After 50 yards, go straight. Go because straight. I was honestly looking up at my top monitor to see Keep what this right. looked like as it was After recording. 50 yards, go straight.
Nailed it. I don't think this is going to show up very well, but I'm pretty sure this whole trailer lights up. Yes, it does. See the Christmas lights around the top? I think each one of these logos does as well. Anyway, don't worry. We're going to have plenty of... We have to do 15 of these. 43,000 pounds. These are heavier than the Halloween ones. Also, I don't know if anybody's keeping track of money. If you are, that's dedication. Uh, but the money's uh Oh, okay. But the money's a little less than it was. Actually, it's not as bad as it was because when I slept, I actually did a 34. Keep left. So I slept After twice. 50 Yards, turn left. Um, so I think I've almost got half of my purchase back. Turn left. But since uh, this episode is coming out on my birthday, I decided to order myself a trailer. It's a step deck. And I painted it to match the truck. Well, as, as best I could. It was originally a chrome trailer, so it's not a perfect match, but, you know, from a distance. Okay, light, like, could you... I hate lights like that, even in real life. That used to be so frustrating. Okay, I must have... I must have done something wrong somewhere today because... I seem to have more stuttering than I used to have. So yeah, I bought a I bought me a trailer for my 49th birthday. Yards, go straight. Go straight. So that's in Jordan waiting for us, which I'm sure about the time I want to use it, one of the other drivers will have taken it. So that's fine. I'll just take it back. Anyway, that was the, uh, it's... Keep right. That was the trailer I bought from Bart. Bart Modding, I think it is. But it's... The B is in Boy, or Bravo, for Romeo Tango. It's the max step deck. It's 18 bucks. It's a good looking trailer. It has a crap ton of options. I think I literally spent 30 minutes just putting lights on it. Go straight. Because I put lights all down both sides. And you had to select every light. Well, first you had to figure out what light you wanted, because there's way, holy goodness, there's a plethora. So anyway, and the main reason I got that trailer is because I liked a lot of the cargo it has for it, so... And it even comes with... Uh,
the templates so you could skin the tarps for the loads, which I thought was cool too, because I think that's... I don't know if there's any base game loads that are tarped. Go straight. I don't know. I haven't been playing this game all that long, as some of you have probably figured out. Honestly, I don't even think I've been playing it a year. Go straight. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Yeah, that's mainly what I've uh, done today on this, uh, what is it, Thursday? Was I messed around with graphic settings that I probably didn't need to. That I'm probably going to get frustrated with and go back to the way they were. Or not necessarily frustrated Go with, straight. just trying to figure out um, where I went wrong in the steps. It's a simple process. It's After nothing difficult. It, yards, you left. just have to hit each turn step left. properly. The other thing I'm trying to figure out, I've also noticed lately that the blinkers in this truck are all of a sudden inconsistent. They'll blink normally for a while and then all of a sudden they'll go fast and then they'll go slow again. It's, I don't know why that is. Hard telling. I guess the main thing is they work, so. that worked because I went from six low to seven high. So when I updated the paint scheme today, I went through the selection of, of visors for this truck. And I guess if I have one complaint about this Ruta 389 is the selection of visors. For example, this one that I have on now, uh, apparently it's in the medium position, but I could get it a little higher, but then it sticks out more on the bottom, if that makes sense. So it's almost like he just has them rotating at the attachment point. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't decide which one. So I kept this one on there and then as I walked out in the living room, the wife was watching episode 60. And I asked her about the, Go if straight. I should change it. And she's like, no, I like it. I'm like, perfect. I'll keep it then. See a car, come on over. Yeah, 
Yeah, so with these graphic settings too, you, in order for everything to work properly, you leave your scaling at 100%, which typically is what you would do anyway, right? But I normally run my scaling at 400% which I've talked about before, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the details. I don't know, I guess I'll have to see how it... looks when I edit it. down mister oh this is external contract anyway so I can't go faster than 65 so it's all good so I'm also thinking as I look at that bank account thinking about adding another truck. Actually, the more I think about this, and I know what your guys' answer is going to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Go straight. second loan installment. First one came out the first time I slept. Anyway, so I know what you guys are going to say. So my thought process is instead of spending another 100000 go straight for two more drivers, why not just buy a third garage somewhere for 180 and get three more slots? Right? I mean, yes, it's 80,000 more than what I would spend to upgrade. But I guess you're getting a third slot plus a different location. I mean, nothing says that every garage has to be a large garage. Just like in real life with big companies, some have, you know, big ass terminals. And uh, some are just little tiny drop yards where a place you can take a shower and get, you know, some fresh coffee or something or do your laundry. So up with these lights being so damn quick I didn't put I didn't change the damn thing with mods at all but they seem real quick today I just thought about another thing. Again, welcome to my brain. I wonder if part of my stuttering in the game is since I'm recording, OBS taking resources. Because I'm probably recording it too high a settings for YouTube, quite honestly, because YouTube compresses the hell out of everything anyway. So it can be watched on all kinds of different devices and internet connections. And if I remember correctly, 
Technically, I'm recording on... Highest quality. I don't know. I don't know a lot about video encoding, but I'm pretty sure I have all three settings under the encoding part maxed out. thing I need to do I do want to start getting down south because I know some of you are probably sick of you know being up here you want to see some new stuff plus I have other cities I need to you know discover that sort of thing it'd be cool if we can get them all done up here in Montana but I mean eventually but I do want to I need to get over to Shelby to show y'all Welker Farms because Recon sent me his latest update today which now the uh, the garage in Jordan has a sleep trigger I'm trying to remember what his change log said this time I know the warning was still in there about Montana 200. And warning being that he's still working on it, so it's it's pretty barren. But it works. You can still, I mean, you can drive on it.
for being so quiet as well, but um, I'm trying to think of where I went wrong in these settings and I'm and I'm really frustrated that I did not test these out on my main profile prior to recording. crossing my fingers that everything looks fine when I edit because if it doesn't I'm gonna be pissed I may not be the best at this game, and I'd never claim to be, and I may not do everything right in this game, but one thing I can hang my hat on is that it's damn good quality. Well, hopefully. I've never had anybody complain yet, but... But from my experience, what I'm seeing right now driving, this is worse than what my Keep test right. videos looked like. After 50 yards, turn right. But again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is why I hate myself sometimes because I have everything fine, right? And then I'll read something on the internet or whatever, and they're like, oh, hey, let me try that. No, why? Everything was working fine. You didn't need to touch a damn thing, Ty. Yeah, so anyway. Turn right. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Just not a fan right now. And as I'm looking at this, I think I did things right because my FPS did take a hit, which it said you're gonna lose some some frames. Like I'm only getting 49 right now. Anyway. you're like I would rather just listen to him drive than talk about this shit I get it see did you hear how my blinker just sped up there turning what the hell's up with that you know what I need to think about now I don't know why this would be no, that couldn't be it. My initial thought was maybe turning off secondary vehicle lights caused that. I don't know how that would cause that, though. Go straight. Who knows the way this game engine is, though. It... Let's 
Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to speed through your neighborhood. How you doing? Just bringing some Christmas gifts to your local community. 16 miles away. I love those minions too, but I almost wish they weren't programmed to move because I hate that stuttering effect when you turn and they try and move. Go straight. Turn right. Right here? Yes. How about we turn here? Really good thing that was at an angle too. All right, where do you want us? I don't... I don't think I've seen this layout before for... Where are we at? ADM. You have reached your destination. Thanks. Well, there's a... Barrel coming out of here. Oh, and they want us right in there next to that tank. Okay. Well, there's a trailer there. There's a harvester there. So we have to do a, that's a nice little truck over there. Anyway, oh, don't hit the header. That's an expensive piece of equipment. New passage map updated. What? Whoa, wait a minute. Don't tell me this little thing over to the road is a hidden. Okay, well, let's get this backed up. I'll worry about it later. But that looks like that just circles back out to the main main road, so. Wait a minute, am I gonna be able to do what I thought I wanted to do? I realize that statement I just made made zero sense. But I have to back around this building. This is a good one. Now, if I do this game and you give me 40 XP for skilled parking, well, there's really nothing I can do. But you know what I mean? It's that's. This would be a mofo in real life. You know why? So, for those that don't know, a blind side back, right, is there. That's our blind side because we can't... And your your mirror is all messed up on uh, view distance. I guess I could have pulled over there in between the buildings. We'll get her though. Oh wow, there's like zero room. I don't like how those ground textures are flashing either. It's really pissing me off.
I damn near had this without a pull up. But the trailer didn't react like I thought it was going to there towards the end, so. Not the end of the world. See, so as I was getting back under that trailer, there's no there's no way that that would have cut back over to that direction that much. And that's what frustrates me. Not to mention this freaking camera. Can we put a no collision on the camera, please? Or somebody create a mod to do that? I really wish I knew how to mod because, well, then I wouldn't play the game probably because I'd be making mods. Oh well, it's crooked, but we made it and didn't hit anything, so there's that. One of 15. Done. Oh, well at least it was, they were nice and gave us 90 XP for that. Alright, let's see what we got out of here quick. check this since we're already doing it let's haul some ambulances right quick GPS had me going out there and to the right. Okay. Oh, yep. There is dotted lines up there. So now where does this take me? Just over to here. Why is this a hidden road? There's another hidden road, too, that goes... Sounds like I need to... squirt a little WD-40 in my body mounts or something like that. They're squeaking pretty good. Could be the seat too with the air ride that's more than likely what it is yeah so this just comes right out to all right well anyway we have a we have a hidden road discovered okay yeah so even though I turned the friction down quite a bit, the uh, if you go that fast on a gravel road, it still shakes the hell out of the rig. thing I didn't check since I was a freight market load is when that load expired. I hope it wasn't within the next 15 minutes in game time.
I'm also thinking Go for... Straight. The next episode, I'm trying to figure out if I just want to drive to Shelby. Or if I want to go to... Just go to Jordan and pick up my trailer. I don't know when it's going to be in, though. Pretty sure they don't make custom trailers in a day. Go straight. What I could do, though, is... The problem is it's going to take time off my clock because when I, I zoom out or Keep when right. I use the dev console After and fly around, hours, that still right. takes time. So even if I did the go to command and went to Shelby, turn just to right. show you guys, it would s take time off. But I don't know, I'll figure something out. Y'all love how scatterbrained my brain is sometimes. But don't worry, I'm still... The graphics issue is still in my head. I'm probably just thinking about other crap right now to, so I don't think about this. guys are pissing around. Y'all will be happy to know I just took a drink and I remembered to unmute my mic. Small victories, folks. Small victories. Go straight. Early wasn't okay. Seriously, why are you? Can you, can you tell me why you're not going into seven low? Okay, where? Go straight. All right, go straight. Oh, are we picking up a Tesla, I'm guessing? Keep right. I'll just guess After because yards, that's where the right. route ends up there. Turn right. You have reached your destination. Thanks. Oh, we have a choice. What's our choice? Oh. Oh. Y'all read this? Max step deck. It's the trailer I bought. And I bought it. I don't think I have these exact boxes on it, but. And I know I drove past it. It's right to our right. I'm just. Say hi to these folks. <laughs> you 
you know. Okay, no, okay. Because I thought in the freight market, oh, I didn't pull up far enough. I thought in the freight market, our load had colored ambulances and the other ones were white. So I got freaked out that I picked the wrong load. And I'm already gonna give him props because these things are secured perfectly. He even X-chained the front. I wonder if he's a flatbed guy or knows someone who is. What happened? Okay, well that's not good. So let me do this. Why was my air low to begin with? Wait a minute, what the hell is going on? Am I not lined up? Not really, okay. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have bought this trailer. Okay, well, let me pull forward now and then air up and see if that does anything. Okay, well, you know why it's not doing anything? Um, because I was correct. Wait, but didn't this load have... Okay, now I'm really confused because... No, it isn't. All right. I could have swore I saw... I'm an idiot. I could have swore I saw white markings around that trailer. Did I not? But there is nothing jumping up and down on there, though. Talk about a brain fart. What in the hell? It's back over there. Okay. So had I just kept doing what I was doing originally... What did I see out of the corner of my eye to the right? Was it the side of the trailer, I wonder? I could have swore that was it. Hey, guess what? Our load has colored, colored ambulances on it. And it's raining. Perfect. I could cut that crap out too, but I'm probably not going to. Although I have been recording an hour already, so... I think probably what we'll do is we'll connect to this. Okay, I don't like how that goes through. Something's... All right, reverse tie. Good lord. Okay, this shit show logistics, folks. Wow, that trailer sits low. 
it went even lower. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to sell that. Wait a minute. Yeah, I swear that that's going to actually hit the fenders. This camera. Oh, just barely clears. Perfect. Um, how about we not hit the building type one out of here? That'd be great. Oh, plenty of room. finish this in the next episode folks but well, look at that pretty damn cool pretty cool and with that ladies and gentlemen episode 62 is going to come to an end aka the birthday episode the episode that I'm not real happy with right now but I'll have it fixed in the next one I promise and if you've made it this far I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do would love to have you a part of the family and don't forget to drop a like on your way out and until the next one y'all take care <laughs>